What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from Examon Gaming. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a new updated video for Tales of Hysteria on how to apply the codes and cheats to your brute force save data. So I've been sitting on the codes for about two to three days, and I actually just got around to making the video. So I wanted to share with you guys on how to input the codes into your brute force save data and what you actually need to do to get it to work. So... First things first, obviously you're going to need Tales of Asteria Save Editor from Brute Force Save Data, which I'm going to provide for you guys. Obviously, your Tales of Asteria Save, and you're going to also need Brute Force Save Data 474. Once you have all three of those things, you should be good to go. So before we actually jump into the tutorial, I want to make sure this is clear, that this will work for your US and Euro Save. You no longer have to just have the Japanese saves that I provided. So whatever save you're using, yours, somebody else's, some someone that you found online, this will work and you'll be good to go. So first things first, as you guys can see, my save is the Euro and it's on my desktop already. I would advise you guys to put your save on your desktop before you start this. So first things first, go inside of Brute Force Save Data. I'm going to refresh one more time. Just give me a second. Now, here's my save. As I, as always, it's always, uh, sorry, got tongue tied. As always, decrypt all your files. Hit yes. Then you want to go to your cheats and apply cheats. Now, these are all the cheats that I have in mind. Most of them work. I tested them yesterday. They are good to go. Maybe some of them don't work. You guys just let me know which one does and doesn't work, and I'll communicate that to the right people, and they'll look at the codes. So, obviously, if you have Tales of Hysteria, you're not going to have any codes in there. Again, I'm going to provide the codes to put this inside a boot for say that. So, you will want to go here, right? And, basically, you're just going to do a copy and paste. And, you'll put your codes in. You can see all my, I already put them in. Hit save. Then, you will go back to your cheats, apply cheats, and then all the cheats will be available. Now, I'm going to just hit the first seven or eight of them so you can see that they actually work. Now, hit apply. Okay. Encrypt. 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 Yes. Verify. Now, at this stage of the game, that's only stage one. Everything checks out okay. Now, what you want to do, you can either close, brute force, save that, or minimize it. You're going to have to open up the Tales of Asteria save editor, right? Now, what you want to do is take your save and load it in inside the save editor, which let me scroll down. Mine's is right there. I hit OK. And hit OK. Don't worry about the 1D8. It doesn't mean it. Just hit OK. Now, as you guys can see already, two things just took place. One, my save loaded inside of the editor, and it popped up automatically with 9,099,900 glad. The only reason why this preloaded with that amount is because I already had added this to the save already. So when I loaded it into the save editor, it automatically just went to the max money. Now, if you loaded your own save inside the save editor, it would just put in whatever money you have on your save. So you have two options right now. You could go and just hit save and exit out of the save editor and what would happen is that it would apply the correct checksum fixer to your save then you will load it back on your playstation you'll be good to go all the cheats will work if you don't do this part right here which is loaded into the save editor after you encrypt everything and check it in brute force you're just going to get a corrupt data your save's not going to work cheats is not going to work so you must put it inside the save editor of Tales of Stereo, that's the stage two, and load, save, and you're good to go. I'll be right back, guys, sorry. So sorry, guys, I'm back. So, like I was saying before, you have two options. After stage one, you can just load your save inside of the Tales of Stereo save editor, and you can hit save, and you're done. And you go back to the system, put your save on, and all the cheats will work. Or you could go and max out your glad for your personal save, whatever you have, I don't know. And then you can go and save and then put it back on your actual PlayStation. And that's it. So I'm gonna hit save, right? 
it says now at the bottom you see all those uh, numbers and codes 11 4 c 1 b that's just the actual editor rehashing your save with the correct checksum fixer and then i'm gonna hit okay close it out and these two files right here just or bin files just throw me your recyclable bin and do anything and that's pretty much it so if you follow this tutorial you should be good to go you can now add your own cheats to your save and that's pretty much it so if there's anything that you need to know like i said before hit me up on my youtube channel i want to thank you guys for watching my videos leave a like a comment if you would like to and i also want to do one more thing i want to give a shout out to brute force save data for making the checks on fixer and i want to also give out a shout out to dan e he's the one who actually sent me the cheats and he actually put a well together tutorial on how to do this and it worked so thank you both for helping me out and helping everybody else out who aren't aware of the cheats but as always it's mr you know who from xmr gaming check out my gaming channel and peace